had a pack of bacon in my refrigerator and pardon the lighting because it's so early this morning and when it's early, it's a lot of shadow in my kitchen. But I had a pack of bacon and I've cut it up into pieces. My um, stove top is on and I am going to make some, I thought I had some northern beans, but actually I have um, pintos, which is fine. I'm going to uh, rinse those. I'm going to wash them, uh, make sure there's nothing in there because sometimes your beans can get things in the packaging that don't belong. We used to say rocks. I've never actually personally found a rock in my beans, but anyhow, to, to be safe, I'm going to rinse those and... Um, you know, make sure they're clean before I add them to this pot. But I'm going to get this bacon going. I am not going to pour the grease off. I'm going to leave it in because it honestly flavors your beans so well. Then I am going to uh, dice up a half of onion. I'm going to add that in here. Put my beans, cover it with water. Um, sometimes I will add chicken stock for more flavor or chicken bouillon for more flavor but basically i just turn this down to a low simmer put the lid on top and just kind of just let it do its thing now if you are cooking beans on the stove top or crock pot you can even put this in the crock pot just pre-cook your bacon and put it in the crock pot um just know that beans that are like this can take a little while to cook so that is why I'm putting these on first because they will take um, a little bit of time to cook. So I'm going to get this uh, bacon um, cooked up. I am cooking in my Dutch oven. Um, if you're curious, it came from uh, Target. I've had it for several years. It was a, a birthday present from my mom and dad, um, and I love it. I use it especially during the colder months. But we are going to get this bacon all nice and um, cooked up. And we're going to get these beans in here. And I'll show you what it looks like when I get it all loaded in my Dutch oven. bacon in here and I'm going to go ahead and add in water now if you put your beans in here and you notice that your water is depleting before your beans actually get done just add more water sometimes I have to add water two three four times before the beans actually get um, done so I'm going to add in my beans and I'm going to make sure I've got enough water in here to um, cook these and I'm going to cook a good bit because um, I'm going to give some to my father-in-law um, to eat See, I'm going to add a little bit more water uh, you can always add a stick of butter um, I'm going to add a little bit of fresh garlic to mine some uh, cracked pepper you know, you can add bouillon cubes for flavor. So there's a lot of things you can do to make your beans taste really, really good. Um, I'm going to turn the heat up on this. And I want this to come to sort of a rapid simmer. And uh, I'm going to add in, I mean, I'm going to add in some bouillon cube and some black pepper to this and some little bit of garlic. And uh, what I'll do is, is after it comes up to a nice boil or a rapid simmer, I will turn it down and put the lid on it and we will just let this cook until it gets done. But um, it will take probably a couple hours to get done on the stove. So I'm going to let this cook and uh, I can't wait because on a fall day, there is nothing like this. Um, it is so delicious. So today I am planning and I'm utilizing everything in my cabinet because I have not been to the grocery store 
this week at all. So I am utilizing everything that I have. So I am planning to make some Rice Krispie treats and I'm going to make some scallop potatoes and I am going to make um, some Mexican cornbread to go along with the beans. And I will show you everything and um, you can go along with me uh, through my day as I um, do a little bit of fall cooking. So um, I love fall time. It is just, this is my, this is my kind of time to uh, cook, not to mention to eat. It's probably not so good for me, but um, I do love a nice hearty meal. When you are cooking beans, you do not want to over stir them because they will become mushy. So I've already brought this up to a really good simmer. You can see that it's simmering in the pot and I am just going to cover this and leave it and let it do its, um, its work. So now I'm making my Mexican cornbread because my beans are done. I'm using one can of drained Rotel. Uh, the um, diced tomatoes and green chilies. You're listening to my husband's um, TV in there. We're just gonna mix in two eggs. two-thirds cups of milk. mozzarella I use I'm utilizing whatever I have but usually the best in my opinion is pepper jack or like a Mexican cheese but you can use any kind of cheese that you want in this recipe and I'm just going to use up what I have in my fridge so I'm going to add in about two handfuls um, I don't really measure it of cheese I'm gonna break up my egg get it all mixed in really well And then I'm going to put in two boxes of Jiffy Mix. Probably could have used a bigger mixing bowl, but that is okay. Next, I have a small baking dish here, and I'm just going to spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. just to ensure that it's not going to stick. And I'm going to pour my mixture right into and you're going to bake according to the box or until a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. Um, I've also got a box scallop potato that's going in the oven as well. And it is going to be really good when it comes out of the oven. And I've already tasted them. They are so delicious. Can you see that? Yeah, I don't want to over stir them. They are hot and delicious. And I can't wait to dive in. It's perfect for a cooler day. Just pulled my cornbread out. My scallops are still cooking. They're not quite done. 
Hopefully I did not overcook this because it is a little bit browner than I usually do, but I think it's gonna be just fine. There are my scallop potatoes out. I'm just gonna let them sit a little bit because it, it will thicken. These are boxed uh, scallop potatoes that I did I have, have on hand, but whenever I use um, a box, I add extra cheese and I also put some diced onion, a little bit of garlic in there. So you can really add to them and make them your own. and they are delicious. I didn't have any, usually I do fried potatoes, but I didn't have any on hand. So we're just, we're going with what we have in the pantry. And I think so far it looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna be making some Rice Krispie treats and I'm gonna be adding just a little bit of peanut butter in, something that I seen. I wish I had some chocolate chips, but I don't think I have any. I'm gonna look, um, but I'm trying to get my butter out. I'm gonna start with a stick of butter and I always use um, a thing of mini marshmallows. Sorry about the close up there. I've got my butter sizzling away and I'm gonna add in my marshmallows. Get those good and melted. That won't take long. Why this is melting, which I'm going to turn the heat down, I'm going to butter my my glass uh, pan that I have, my 9x13 pan. Thank you. 